The name of this one is the Father's Table Grace. While we sit at our table and my family's heads are bowed low, you see my thoughts return to childhood to the finest guy I know. Well, he doesn't speak good English and well, he's just a simple man. But you know, when he talks to the Lord, even a little child can understand. You see, I was awful young and reckless, and the, well, the thought still comes to me when I, well, when I told Dad that, well, that I felt I was old enough to leave. Well, he sat there at the table, and a, a look came on his face. Oh, he never spoke another word until he said the table gripe. He bowed his head and folded his hands and he said, Our gracious Heavenly Father, we're all gathered here today about to give thanks for a blessing, so humbly we pray. Oh, my oldest son is leaving and, well, I guess he knows what's best, but well, maybe just in case, would you stand by and, you know, help him stand the test. And Lord, he's, he's awful neglectful about church on Sunday mornings, and, well, if he gets in the wrong crowd, would you, would you let him hold your arm, and maybe if he flies too high, would you clip his wings, but, but don't let him fall too hard, Lord, and, well, I'm sure you can handle things. Oh, I've tried my best from day to day to teach him right from wrong. And he's grown to be a fine young man, Lord, but then you've always blessed our home. Oh, I just pray for understanding that he won't build upon the sand. But you know, I won't worry half as much, Lord, if I know he's in your hands. And oh yes, Lord, it won't be long till I'll be coming home. Oh, we'll have some long talks then, you and me, and well, don't make it wait too long. And we beg your Lord for guidance and please cleanse us from our sins. So we can all meet in heaven in Jesus' name, amen. Well, the table was silent as the, well, those tears went down my face. And from that day on, I, I'm going to base my life on, on my father's table, Grace.